Oh, look, the universal thing's an egg. <laughs> what will they think of next? Oh, I pushed the back button. Crap, sorry. <laughs> Hello and good morning everyone. Happy weekend. Sun is shining. I am like on another level here. First of all, I have to start out this video by saying a massive, massive thank you. You watched yesterday's video. You saw that I revealed my big secret, my big announcement that I have had. You guys, that is that I am a speaker at BYU Women's Conference that is being held here in Utah at the beginning of May. And I don't know if you guys know, but I'm actually not a public speaker. <laughs> Might seem like I would do great at that because I talk to all of you every day, but guess what? It's just me and you. There's, there's no one else watching besides me and you right now. I guess that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pretend I'm talking to me and you guys because there's far more of you that I talk to than will be in my session for women's conference. But I'm excited. I'm thrilled. I think it's going to be amazing and I can't wait. I really just wanted to say thank you. We made a post on Instagram and so many of you have come over and said, you're going to do great. This is awesome. And just been so encouraging and uplifting. And truthfully, my heart is full. I'm so grateful. So thank you. I first learned about women's conference from Brandon's mom, Jolene. I attended several years ago and now here I am coming back. I did go last year and I'm coming back here to be a speaker. So it's gonna be amazing. I hope to see some of you and meet a lot of you. It's gonna be awesome. I'm hanging out in the kitchen today. We are having Maddie and maybe someone special over tonight. And we're gonna have a fun dinner. We're gonna hang out. And I asked the kids, what do you guys want for dinner? And Rexon lately has been asking for chicken enchiladas like every day. I need to make those for him this week. But I was like, buddy, I don't think everybody loves those. I don't know that I have a great recipe for chicken enchiladas. Can you guys all collectively think of something different? And they suggested Hawaiian haystacks. And our family loves them. They love them, they love them. I got this recipe from actually my mother-in-law. Like like, I don't know, beginning of our marriage. And I wrote it down on a little Santa post-it note. We're making that today. And you guys, it's just so easy. Got that going. I also decided to wake up early and I started some homemade bread and then forgot about the homemade bread and threw rolls out. So you know what? All the carbs. We're doing all the carbs. We're going to have a fun night tonight. We have a fun dessert idea that dad gave us actually. So Brandon in the kitchen, what is that going to be like? Just wanted to drop in and say hello. And I'm so grateful that the sun is shining today. <sighs> it feels amazing. For dessert tonight, someone came up with a real winning idea. Brandon. This is like a food connoisseur, maybe like a pastime chef, someone who dabbles in the food trade industry. No, someone that is really good at eating, somebody and that is a lot Brandon. Of sweet treats, baby, uh, and fruit. A this is fruit his contribution to dinner was the idea of dessert. <laughs> like how you emphasize the idea because I didn't the actually like that at all. The idea, which okay. means he didn't actually do anything to make or bake them. But sometimes, Mindy, would you agree? The idea is the hardest part. Yes, yep, the hardest you part. I will give you that. Okay. Having little mini baby. What do you call them? I want to. Do fruit pizzas for a dessert. Mom put her own little spin on this classic and made him like mini pizzas. It's kind of like just like a sugar cookie with fruit on it. That's what fruit pizza is. I know, but like, you, you know, the pizza makes you feel like you're getting a slice. This one, I know I'm definitely eating a cookie. Like, I'm just having a straight up cookie. And I'm doing my own frosting. So, what we're gonna do is a build your own, <laughs> I was make your just own. go like this. Oh, I was the like, frosting well, I don't want to clean it up. <laughs> you're gonna grab your cookie, pick it up, frost it. Mom's frosted some of them because she doesn't want to get too out of control on the frosting. It's mostly just you. You know how we bing them. Then come through here and you grab your toppings. So, you've got fun fruit toppings, fun bread bright colors and it's supposed to be like really good looking as well as delicious. These are gonna be delightful. Ah! Guys, we've never used the grass before. Hi. Mindy, is this a total spring vibe? Even though it's freezing cold. Having the window open, kids out playing across the yard. Feels good. I've just been baking in here so much. The house is warm. So letting the window open it just feels so good. And I'm letting that smell of all your delicious baking come just... through the neighborhood. Everyone is thanking you right now, I know, Mindy. People keep knocking on the door. They're like, what is that smell? <laughs> oh, that's me. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> we have not been out here this much in the backyard in a long time. And I don't know that we've ever really used the grass to its full potential. Right now, it's just brown, crunchy, and dead. But it will be back to its vibrant green self and lush lustrous spring life coming up here hopefully soon but with maddie and her special guest mitchell 
playing basketball, jumping on the trampoline, and actually utilizing this patch of grass for some volleyball. Because the kids, as you know, just recently made the school volleyball team. I think it's got them wanting to do a little bump set spike. So they're just getting in a circle and just hitting the ball around. They just had one go over the neighbor's fence, over the fence into the neighbor's yard. That's something to watch for. But I do kind of love that as it is only slightly warmer. I mean, you guys, it is not much warmer. It's probably, it says it's 46, but it feels pretty cold with the sun gone. Although, can I just weigh in on that as well? How incredible it is having set the clocks forward an hour. Now, I know it's not anybody's favorite because you lose an hour of sleep. Church came a little bit earlier this morning, but the sun has set, but it is still light outside. It's 7.30. For this time of year, that's fantastic. It's the first time you get a little bit later sunset and the kids taking full advantage of it here because they've got their sister over from college having a fun dinner. We love doing these things on Sundays if we can. Typically, as you guys know, we don't vlog on Sunday, but we had a lot of nothing going on yesterday. We thought it'd be a little more fun to include Maddie and her friend. It's her boyfriend, guys. That's her boyfriend right there. You guys want to know, secret's out, cat's out of the bag. Her boyfriend is right there in the yard. <laughs> I'm saying it. I'm putting it out there. I will officially introduce you guys, let him sit down and say hello, tell you a little bit more about him whenever they feel comfortable with that. But we had a great talk at the dinner time about everything that's coming up in their futures, everything that's going on right now, and it's just fun to hear how they're doing. But the first thing the kids wanted to do, though, get outside, jump on the tramp, shoot some hoops, then it turned into a fun little, what do you call that when you just like hit the volleyball around in a circle? Is that called something? It's not a scrum, but that's like a word that comes to mind. I don't know, but they're doing that out there and I'm loving it. When we built this yard and we kind of had the guy design the landscape for it, we've been complimented a lot on how it turned out and we really can't take any credit because yeah. we just told him like, what we wanted in here. We wanted to have like swimming pool, basketball court, however we can lay these things out. And he really went to work and made the most out of the space back here. And one of the things that we wanted is a patch of grass to just, I don't know, have like a picnic or maybe you're playing some spike ball, throw the frisbee. Well, what we ball. found, there's so many other things going on here in the backyard. Typically, if the pool's open, people are in the pool. If it's not, they'll work their way to the basketball court. They'll go straight down the grass to the trampoline. But we yeah. often just like skip over the grass. We don't really utilize or use the patch of grass. And so what I love about tonight, swimming not an option. Maybe a little bit chilly for shooting some hoops. I don't know if just weren't in the mood. Yeah. The kids beyond the volleyball team, they started playing some volleyball out here. I want to get a volleyball. And dude, we realized, I mean, we don't think much of this strip of grass no. because it's just this leftover area that doesn't have a defined purpose. You could put a volleyball net there. Easily. It's big enough for like a full yeah. volleyball court and you guys could practice and play volleyball out here. I'm actually going to go search that. I say we 100% get so a volleyball yeah. net and put it out here. You guys That'd are on the team. So I feel like cool. we should. That'd be so sick, yeah. dude. Let me go look that up. Hey, he's so excited to go out there, <laughs> you dork. All right, Brex, try and get it up here. Oh, Brex is perfect. Boom, we'll just leave right there. Coming off of what is probably as great of a Sunday afternoon as you could have, which by the way, I don't know if we articulated this in the vlog yet, but this is actually Sunday. Yesterday, we had a whole lot of nothing going on. I think I did just say this. Yeah, I just said that. But we thought it'd be more fun to include you guys in a little Sunday afternoon with Maddie and her friend. So they just left out, had to go back, college life. They got class in the morning. They want to hang out tonight probably. What do you got in your mouth? Hey, you get braces this week, by the way. Yeah. Literally on Thursday, right? Braces. Hey. No. Today's gonna be so, one of our other favorite things to do on a Sunday evening is to finish off the night with a movie in the movie theater. And so tonight, mom has requested that we watch the movie Hop, which is an Easter classic. And as Easter is somewhat coming up, I think we still have St. Patrick's Day before that, but it is on its way. It's in the Easter frame of mind, the Easter mood. And it's one of our favorite things to do to wind down a Sunday evening to just chill here in the theater and watch a fun family movie. In fact, some of you might be old enough to remember back in the day that there would be like a family themed movie on TV on Sundays. And my family always loved to gather around and watch whatever that family themed movie was. I feel like it was typically Disney, but the only way to watch is whatever they put on TV that night. A Sunday night, they always had a family movie, and we'd love to watch that together as a family. So kind of continuing that tradition, but except in today's day, we get to choose whatever movie we want, and tonight, we chose Hop. You guys have heard of the luxury recliners at the movie theater, where you can put your legs out, and they'll like bring you snacks and stuff? We have luxury spa recliners here at the Bingham Theater, where they will actually brush your hair. Can you get a mani-pedi during the movie? I feel like you probably right. could. You can take over that. Coffee <laughs> cake. Foot massage, maybe, a little shoulder rub. I mean, this theater comes equipped. Now, these seats do sell out fast. There is one available per showing and mom always gets it. So I'm not really sure how that works. Oh, wow. Yep. We're go we've gone full service here. We've got Mother's Day. Wow. Happening? What is honestly actually happening here? You are being completely spoiled right now. I'll oh, be watching a movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, the universal thing's an egg. <laughs> <laughs> what will they think of next? Oh, I pushed the back button. Crap. Sorry. <laughs> many fun and exciting things that we hope to be able to reveal to you someday, but we just, uh, a little bit of fun just now. What was, what was that? Oh, yeah. oh! 
Well, but I mean, it's like, yeah. I don't Sorry, say much. It actually only is that far away. He said next week, right? Right? Do you realize after coming out of the Maddie thing, it sounds like Mitchell's proposing. I like that. Let's leave it in there. Yeah, <laughs> I think. Uh, Guys, we are week. wrapping it up with a full family sleepover because guess what? It might be Sunday night. It might be Monday tomorrow. But we've got no school tomorrow. <laughs> the weekend continues for two more days. We literally have tomorrow off, Tuesday off. off. We got fun plans. Mom's getting her hair done. We're going to a movie. Oh, a little bit of change, but braces on. Thursday, oh, right? A little bit of change. Yeah. Whoa. Small change. Whoa. Mom's hair, boom. We need to change that. It looks like Sonic's hair. Oh, uh, that's a <laughs> raptor, I think, actually. It's a raptor? <laughs> <laughs> guys, we've been having way too much fun. We're very excited oh, to someday share all of it with you. Heaven. Okay, you guys, we love I'm you so much. Baby. Yeah, you are my baby. Thank you for being with us this weekend. We had so much fun. And it's not over, so come back tomorrow. Woo! Good night, everybody. Bye. Foot massage, maybe a little shoulder rub. I mean, this Peter come equipped. Hey, he's so excited to go out the door. <laughs> like, what is that smell? <laughs> oh, that's me. Excuse me. <laughs> he's spoiled right now. I'll be watching movies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>